This week on GamePro News, Xbox Live uses its powers for good as a concerned gamer utilises the network to help out a depressed friend. We're disappointed to hear that Mortal Kombat really won't be arriving down under as the game's classification appeal has failed. We do, however, respect PlayStation's decision to delay the release of Motorstorm Apocalypse following recent events. Runic Games enjoy their best sales day ever thanks to the Xbox Live Arcade launch of Torchlight, and we get our first hints of both the Alientastic Prey 2 from Bethesda and Ubisoft's new music game, Rocksmith. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jessica Citizen. A 14-year-old Canadian boy is being credited as potentially saving the life of a fellow gamer following his quick response to a friend's online cry for help. One day in late February, the Canadian logged onto Xbox Live and noticed his acquaintance, a 14-year-old Texan, was feeling pretty down on himself and feeling pretty worthless. After discussing the situation with his parents, the Canadian police were called and an officer arrived at the boy's house in Thunder Bay. The officer, an experienced crisis negotiator, spent more than two hours in an intense conversation with the American, trying to gain the boy's trust and determine his location. Eventually, the Texan admitted he was at home and was convinced to go and fetch his father from another room. Dad, understandably, was shocked but very grateful. He had no idea his son had been so upset. He and the police thanked the Canadian boy for taking the matter seriously enough to do something about it, particularly because the teenagers had gamed together before but did not know each other outside of Xbox Live. Meanwhile, it's official. Australian gamers will not be allowed to locally purchase Mortal Kombat in that country after Warner Brothers' appeal to the Classification Review Board failed. The game remains refused classification, which means that it is effectively banned from sale, hire or public exhibition. Punishment includes hefty fines and or jail time. Warner Brothers would like to thank the thousands of Mortal Kombat fans in Australia and around the world who have voiced their support during the appeal process. It seems that the game's content just could not be accommodated under the MA15 Plus rating. It's yet another argument for the introduction of an R18 Plus adult classification for video games. On a similar note, following the recent devastating effects in Japan and New Zealand, it's been announced that PlayStation will delay the launch of Motorstorm Apocalypse in various territories out of respect. The game, due to be released this week, is set in an apocalyptic state wracked by violent explosions, fires, floods and earthquakes. In a statement, Sony explained, We are very conscious of the underlying theme in Motorstorm and are doing everything we can to be as sensitive as possible to the situation. As a result, the launch has been postponed indefinitely in Japan, New Zealand and the UK, and it's not yet been confirmed whether it will make its April Street date in the US. In Australia, the situation was a little more awkward as the game was launched locally earlier this week. However, PlayStation reassure us the company has already pulled its marketing launch campaign and is ceasing any further shipments of the game. Something that did have a successful release recently was Torchlight from Runic Games. The company recorded its highest sales day ever for the game, which is currently part of the Xbox Live Arcade house party promotion. No actual sales figures have been discussed quite yet, but online Xbox 360 leaderboards have shown more than 74,000 players, so that should give you an idea of just how well the experience translates to the couch. As an added bonus, a studio rep has confirmed that sales of Torchlight on PC and Mac have also seen a boost since the console version was launched. Not bad, guys. The developers at Runic, which was created by former Blizzard staffers, are currently hard at work on a multiplayer sequel for the Hack and Slasher due in July. It had been hinted at, but nobody was quite ready to believe that Prey 2 was anything more than a dream. But this week, Bethesda Softworks and Human Head Studios have confirmed that they're working on the game, which is due for release sometime in 2012. Charlie, get over here. Yeah, 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 I'm coming. What is that? Get over here. Yeah. Oh, Prey 
Prey 2 is being built with the id Tech 5 engine and promises gamers a new facet of the Prey universe, fast-paced action in an open alien world. Details are pretty thin on the ground, but I'm sure the radio silence won't last long. Also revealed this week is the next big thing in music games, an offering from Ubisoft called Rocksmith. I know, I know, the music rhythm genre is meant to be dead and buried, but this one, which uses a real guitar instead of a plastic peripheral, might just breathe new life into the idea. It's the feeling of the strings pushing back against your fingertips. It's the way it sits against your stomach, as if channeling emotions straight from your gut. It's a game that lets you plug into any real guitar. The game's already mentioned a super impressive library of tunes, including Nirvana, David Bowie, Interpol, and The Animals. It even promises to make reading music fun and intuitive. You can colour me intrigued. Till next week, I'm Jessica Citizen, and this is GamePron News.